T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Thanks to an assist from Pig for Life. I'm reviewing Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Leo Prime. Leo Prime is a maximal leader from basically an alternate reality. Uh, in Japan, it was probably part of the same continuity as everything else, but I'm going to say alternate reality where he commanded a group of Maximals in space somewhere. And somehow he met Beast Wars Optimus Primal. Basically, this thing looks really good to me. It comes together as an action figure very well. And it has minimal things that I would like to be changed, but there are wishlist things that I'm going to go into. But let's get a little bit closer. Here is his basically fully painted chest. Only things not painted is the grayest gunmetal area. The head fully painted 100%ly. Here are the details on the crotch, which the front is fully painted. The rear, not, but it still looks good. Then you have the paint and detail down here on the legs. And let's let you see this stuff. The lion head, which you're gonna see more in his lion mood. But there you are. Now he does have some weapons under here, which can double as a rocket pack. One thing I dislike, this backpack doesn't really connect to anything. It's just loose and free-floating. You could just have it like this. That's more cohesive, where it's not just floating around. But yeah, special features. Here's spark chamber. Can open up. There is a stand port size peg right there. We can put Transformer Siege Blast effects on there to make them do like a Matrix Spark Blast or whatever if you want to. These arms have weapons. If you swing them out this way, bring it up here and go ahead and you know, rotate the paw that way. And go ahead and bring these spikes out of here. He does have these arm claw weapons if you want to do that so yeah you can stab stuff with the claws or even if they get too close wind up stabbing them with the lion paw right there up here in the main he does have some blasters right there which you can rotate so you can shoot forward if you want or you can just have him detach these from the main and hold them in his hands. His little tiny handguns. Which I guess would be effective. Choo, 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 choo. And if you want to have more firepower, these weapons do come out right here. And I'm going to show you an option with these. They pick up here. It's not really five millimeter circular pegs. It's these flat pegs. Now you've seen them in there like that. If we reverse it, they'll be sticking up like this. And you can have, you put it like this, you can have smokestacks like Optimus Prime. Or you can pull this arm out or pull the lion head forward. And now he has over the shoulder cannons like Optimus Primal, but they are directly behind the head. Or we can take them off once again and this fur right here, the lion fur, right there, part of the mane, can come forward. We can just plug these into there. So now he has Wolverine claws, two guns, plus two forearm mounted guns. And he can be all types of armed up right here. Now to let you see the articulation, the head is on a ball joint. It can look up that much, which is not a lot. 
I would love it if it could look up more than that, where if I bend him like this, he can straight up still be looking straight at the camera. This panel that it's on does move, so you can make him like look down at his subordinates or whatnot. These get out the way, so you have the shoulders that can do everything and can point straight up with that out the way. Bicep rotation, elbow bends only 90 degrees, no articulation in the wrist, which is disappointing. <laughs> this can get out of the way as well. So you have full range of motion over here. And one thing I like to do, I like putting this up like that. So it's like further up and just out of the way, period. You have the waist rotation. I didn't point out the paint that's on the eyes right there. They painted the front or the hips. They front painted the front and the back. But you can kick 90. Kick 90, well actually a little tiny bit more, but it's going outward. Go out there. He has the rotation right here. He has a B bend right here. You have a bend technically in the middle of the shin and you get all types of ankle pivot. Now, I do wish that the foot could rock forward and rock back. That would definitely help out with posability, but they didn't give him that, so. Yeah, wish list. I wish he could look up more. I wish the wrist rotated and I wish the ankles could rock back and forward. Double jointed knees would have been nice as well. And an ab crunch being greedy. Overall with him being a smaller Voyager class. And when I say smaller, I mean like height wise, he's not as tall as I've seen a Voyager class get his plastic feels nice and thick in the field. Well, and it feels tighter in the joints than some older figures you may have purchased. So basically it just feels good and doesn't feel cheap. And I like the paint and deco. So I think this is a really good looking Voyager class figure. Now I'm going to bring in Primal right here from Transformers Kingdom. And as you can see, he does take up more space than Primal and he's a little bit taller. I think the paint deco looks better to be honest. But he does have the ability to move his feet forward and whatnot and he does have wrist rotation. The head doesn't really it, it can look up more because of the panel. So, but I did a review for this. Go look that up. Chill review at the end of your search. Before transformation, I did want to point this out. You do have this kibble just hanging up off the arms. I think that may be accurate to the original toy. You would think it would get more in the way, but it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would. So, yeah. And he is mostly, mostly filled in, except maybe a mushroom bag visible there and there. But other than that, and certain other spots, you do have stand ports and whatnot, but it's mostly filled in. All right, transformation. I put everything back default the way it was when I first brought them out. Put the weapons back, except the guns under here because I'm going to show something else you can do. You could leave it there and just trans never take them out and transform it, but it has a feature in the beast mode. So basically what I'm going to do is pull this away from here, lift this up, lift this up, and then get at this, which is honestly hard to grab. So I gripped down there, which was easier. Open that up, open that up. And now we can rotate his head in. Pull this whole panel out from here. Don't do it from here. Pull it from here, outward, rotate it. And let's let you see this detail in here. Then we can shut that back 
up like this. Now, back here, we can kind of get the arms out the way. Get this up out of here so we can see this. But basically, this needs to rotate into this orientation right here. And you should be good to go. Now, the arms. I'm going to pull this paw out and rotate it. Pull this bar all out, rotate it that way. The arm needs to basically rotate here while we leave that there. Leave the shoulder in its orientation. Do that. Start lifting up on this hinge and this hand. The hand needs to come out of there. Start lifting that up. The hand needs to come out of there. But we'll basically get this all the way up. And as we're coming up, right here in this his like wrist collar or wrist cuff, it pegs to a peg that's on the inside of the lion head. We'll get this all the way up. Peg on the other side. It may come loose while you're doing this, but now we can, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to keep my hands pinching that while I close this and then close this around that. So basically that's done. And now we can take this lion arm and this peg hole right here goes on that peg. Wrap that around until things sit. Wrap this around until it sits. This came loose for whatever reason. I'm gonna, I think because it's not pinned, it wasn't pinched up there. Then we can shut this back here. We can bring that tail out. This peg goes into the back of his robot butt. This right here can actually come forward and peg into the sides right here. And then this middle section can come forward, peg into here and the sides. Now the legs, the legs need to rotate right here at, in the middle of the thigh. Then rotate right here at the ankle. You can bend the knee backward. And then you can leave it like this, but if you don't want that red joint showing, it can actually collapse all the way up. So bend that backwards and collapse that all the way up. Take these heels that are useful in robot mode, put them away. And now he is an anime, cartoony looking, but more realistic now in Legacy Evolution Lion. With minimal robot kibble, like you got that. And some red showing right there. But here he is. Here's his lion face. The mouth opens up. I don't like the face. It looks goofy. Then the yellow eyes. I, I can't remember what color they were on the cartoon. Because I've only seen certain images. But I wish they were something other than this yellow. But here you are. Articulation. You basically just have that. They swivel right there. You could detach this from here. To make it swivel forward a bit but you don't have any ankle articulation so that is what that is with that if you wanted to see this deployed backward there's this and the legs we can spread them out and use 
the angle pivot. His tail, which doesn't look well beyond anything like this, we can do that. I don't know if his tail is actually yellow on the anime. Oh yeah, you can rotate this, rotate that. You can detach this, the leg can go back some. If the ankle was able to rock forward and back, that would be helpful for posability, but no. Special features, he still has access to those guns in his mane. If I can actually grab it, so you can shoot at people. And this is why I didn't put those guns in his back because you can still rock these forward and put the other guns here. You can't leave them on here because of the transformation. You can't like actually shut that with the gun in there, unfortunately. But now here he is all weaponized as a white lion, like Kimba. So there you go with that. All right, here he is next to Optimus Primal in beast mode. And he's still bigger than Primal. Primal supposed to compact down to be this gorilla, but yeah. If there's any final thoughts on the beast mode, it is limited, but I do kind of like it more than, let's say, Tigatron and Cheetor that they've came up with recently. So, anywho, reverse transformation. Um, you can start by pulling up on this midsection piece right here on both sides. Golly, this is, I'm leaving this in. This is the second time I pulled something off of the little non-pin sections while I'm doing this transformation. The best way is to lift that up. This has never happened before I started filming, which is annoying. But here we are. I got that up. Bring that back. And I did put the guns into his back. Lift up right here. If you want to remove them after the fact, do what I just did. Lift this section up, pull the guns off, and then you can put them in his mane. And then you can just shut it back. But we're not doing that right now. Get that out. Lift this up off his butt. Bring that up in there. And I am going to reverse this. Reverse that, pull out the heels because that's easy to forget and he'll be falling over. Unpeg the knees, bend it so basically it like soft locks right here at the top. Rotate that around, rotate that around, and we can have his lower body done. Up here, we are going to unpeg this. And unpick that. Lift this forward and unclip everything basically. Get that out to here. Get the hands forward. Get the hands forward. And before we bring this down, I'm going to just open this up, rotate it, shut it, and do that. I'm gonna bring this down. Bring that down and set this side first and bring this open. And because this hinge is so tight, this is usually always open. We can get the shoulder down in that position so that we can rotate this with, without hassle. The legs rotate this here, shove it like that, bring it like this. You don't have to rotate the lion paws but I honestly, instead of having it like this, I like having it the other way. And now back here, we can get the arms out of the way. 
basically rotate this joint this way until it clicks like that. Get this down and just basically bring this over, shove it just on a slider, shut it that way and get that over there. And basically he is a robot again. But I think it's an excellent Voyager and an excellent remake of the original figure. I've never owned that figure, but from what I've seen, I do like the proportions and whatnot of this better. So there's that. If you like them, I can suggest it. I am satisfied with this. And I will have to pay pay for life for this figure. Anywho, thank you. Thank him again. Thank anybody who is watching this and who has clicked like and done anything to help or support my channel, share and all that stuff. Subscribe. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really.